Dank und Peter, wir werden ja. wir werden die Keynote jetzt auf Englisch genießen können. Viel Spaß. Yes, good morning. Because you know that my German was a bit woody right? So let's do it. Uh, do, uh, do in English. I hope you saw the view this morning. It was absolutely beautiful uh, from Frankfurt. It's great to, to, to be here with, with all of you. It's uh, yesterday. I hope you had a fantastic evening. It was a great dinner, great drinks, and um, some people stayed very late, which was fantastic to hear till three o'clock in the morning. So uh, welcome to you this morning. Hopefully uh, you can uh, have an exciting day for you to, to listen to, to everything as well. So um, once again, welcome. We, uh, we're here, as I said yesterday as well, because of you and everything is around you as our customers. We have some really big customers, we have smaller customers, we have long term customers and short customers that joined us uh, more recently. But it's, it's you, it's your, um, your day and uh, we want to listen to you and we want to do that more and more as well. So we will be in more contact with you because you have the market knowledge and you, um, you know what's important for you and we want to know how we can grow your business because that's our mission. Our mission is really to grow your, uh, your business. And we have a couple of promises for that. And the promise is to increase conversion rates and to reduce bounce rates and to increase your digital revenue. So um, today I will talk about change. I will talk about driving change. I will talk about um, being in control of your destiny. I will talk about technology, I will talk about neural networks, I will also talk about my children, I will talk um, uh, about, uh, about black swans, I will talk about Thanksgiving turkeys, you will see pictures of waves and lightning and even Elvis Presley comes by. And uh, I have a big announcement to make today and this is the first uh, that everybody will uh, listen to, it. this is before the press release goes out, so hold on to that one. Um, I will try to weave this all in into a story that makes sense for you to drive change and opportunity for your business. So, let's get started. Change. 2021 was a year of change. And first of all, I hope that you and your family and your uh, company and your teams are all well and have not really suffered bad health for, with, with COVID. But it has been a year of change and it has been a year of a lot of challenges. And I talked to some people yesterday about these challenges as well. Hey, we all of a sudden had to stay at home. We had to worry about our health, and we had to worry about the health of our, our families. Um, we had to work from home. We have, some have small children. I have small children, five and eight years old. We had to do homeschooling and work at the same time. It's not the easiest, right? And I think we should congratulate ourselves so far that we are here and that we are indeed celebrating it again in one big room. So uh, well done on us, I think, uh, for the last two years. It's been, uh, it's been tough enough. So um, for me, another change was that I, in, uh, in February this year, became CEO of, uh, of FactFinder. Very exciting, but also daunting. And I couldn't travel for five months to full time to meet the team. And we met everybody on little screens. But here we are, and I have to give it to the team and the fact finder people to really stand up and make things happen and uh, be there for you as customers and, and work through that change. So without them, it was uh, absolutely not possible. It was, it was fantastic what, what happened as a company. And um, also in February, Genry, the investor, took a majority share in uh, fact finder. There was a reason for that, of course. Because fact, uh, again, we see a German gem in fact finder. A um, company with fantastic technology, a company with fantastic people and smart people, healthy growth and he healthy uh, revenues, and a fantastic large customer base, loyal customer base. But of course, they also saw growth and potential. And fact finder has been fantastic at building a moat around Germany and we have become a, a, a digital powerhouse in Germany, but there's potential in growing in segments, there's a potential in growing the product, there's potential in growing internationally. And if you talk about growth, you can start talking, okay, what, are, what, what is really driving growth in the economy? And Ilka already talked about it as well, but there is a couple of pillars of growth that are important. 
One is mobile, of course, the adoption of mobile and the, 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 the potential it has for, for commerce. We all know that. The next one is social. A big pillar, because people can leave reviews, people can read reviews, people can uh, get feedback, you can get product information from all over the world about the product that you're interested in. So, big driver. Another driver is the cloud, of course, to make it easy and to expand it easy. Another one is AI and machine learning. There's a lot of talk about AI and machine learning and some people can really do it and some not, but they have to make sure that you have the right technology here. And it can really help processes move along faster and faster and give you more business insight. You get also more business insight from big data. Distill the right information so you as a businessman can, and, and, and woman, uh, we, can, we can drive business forward with the right, part, uh, with the right information. And then the low cost of tech, relatively low cost of tech, because the value that you get from the investment that you do, that of course is the interesting bit. And then there is the big driving force of e-commerce. People have been talking about digital transformation. Well, COVID has proven, and if you know, we just heard the number, 72 billion in e-commerce revenue, uh, digital transformation has changed to digital desperation. If you don't embrace digital commerce, there's no way that you're going to survive or even thrive in, in, this, uh, in, this, in, in this economy. 20% growth, that's what we expect from year on year to come. So we need to be ready for that. And then there's another part that is driving the economy, and that's technology progress. Technology progress, technology is going faster and faster and faster, and gives you a competitive edge every single time. And you need to embrace that. And if we think that technology is changing fast nowadays, well, think how it is in 10 years' time. It's getting faster and faster. Um, but I don't have to say that to you, because you already have embraced digital commerce, and you have already embraced change in technology progress with fact-finding. Some have done it um, uh, over 10 years ago, some of it more recently. But um, fact-finder, set up by a true visionary, the CEO and the founder of FactFinder uh, created with his team a fantastic product. And that's the product that you use, but it's a product that is proven and that's innovative. And if you talk about this proven, and I think proven is very, very important in here, especially in the time of COVID, what do you trust? You want to have a trusted partner in a time when things are really challenging. They call it the moment of black swan, right? The black swan, and I think that a lot of people know that already, but the black swan is, is, an, it is an, there's an event that you didn't see happen, all of a sudden happened that has a massive impact on your business. And it comes from black swan, comes from uh, a few hundred years ago, people only thought swans are white. You only really can get white, there's only white swans in the world. So somebody went to Australia and they found the black swan, and all of a sudden that's, the, 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 things changed, the mindset changed. Or, if you're a Thanksgiving turkey, at the moment, life is great. You get fantastic food every single day. You're now, and every day is fantastic, and you can only expect a better day tomorrow. Till Thanksgiving, when things change quite dramatically for a turkey, only if you're, tur if you're pardon pardoned by the US president as a turkey, your life will be different after Thanksgiving, because there is nothing. So that's something to think about in our business. What is the next event? COVID, we're still in COVID, but what's the next event? Will it be? We don't know, but we need to be ready for it. And which partner do you want to be by your side that has proven to be the right partner for you and can drive your business and also a partner that can listen to you and, and, and be there to support you? And a partner that is innovative. Um, two years ago, over two years ago, we uh, developed a completely new product uh, new core of Fact Finder Next Generation. I know there's some people here on Fact Finder Next Generation and there's some people that are not on ne Next Generation as of yet, but we developed a new core that's faster, that's smarter, and really gives you that ultimate experience. And some part of that new technology is that it has a faster core. You developed it in-house, it's our own core, and we can develop that further, and we are developing that further. Of course, there's analytics and A-B testing to optimize everything in your shop to make sure that you get the most out of your conversion rate. Ever so important, of course. 
there is an intuitive UI. We say that we're the business tool. We are the business tool in search and merchandising and personalization. But you need to have the business user be able to use it. And we have changed that UI. And then scalability. Everything is about scale, of course. And you have channel management. And you have language independency. If you want to go international, you want to have a search engine that completely supports that. So ever so important. Um, sometimes change is forced upon you and sometimes you can create change and you can get to your destiny uh, where you need to be and what you want to do. And there's a lot of talk in the industry right now about automation, automation, automation. You want to automate more, you need to automate more, and, uh, but you still want to be in control of that as well and how you do that. You want to be in control of your own campaigns, of your rankings. Uh, you want to help the customer with guided selling. So there's a certain amount of uh, automation and there's a certain amount of uh, control that you want to have. And that's important, of course, uh, to make sure that you get your products on the right digital, digital shelf within your company and on your site. So there's one side about automation. And we have new technology, but we also, there's another part that's really important, and here comes Elvis, is to, uh, to personalize. Because if you listen to a song, every song is diff has a different experience for uh, every, every other person. Every product that, that people look for on your, on your site has a different experience for your, per for your person. You better have a good show uh, for your customers. Because every interaction, every moment matters. And you, as, as a brand, as a manufacturer, as a retailer, you, you must deliver to stay in the game and to really uh, give the customer what they're looking for. Because the customer comes to you and in the search bar is the first interaction that you have with your customer. And you have 15 seconds to get it right. Because otherwise, customers are gone and they go somewhere else. And we have different tools for personalization to really pick out the person in the crowd. Um, nowadays when I look at these pictures of big crowds I get a little bit nervous, but uh, hopefully after yesterday that will be a little bit different as well. But how can you reach that person? And we have certain tools. We have GeoSearch, where people, where you can see uh, where the people are, are they near a shop, are there different products in that shop that you can promote, what kind of campaign, what kind of ranking one do you want to do out of products in stock. Predictive basket. Um, something we developed with, with Karsner and uh, a, a great tool for customers that are recurring and come back every time and order the same kind of products. If they order milk on every, uh, every Monday, will they do that uh, again the next, in the next week and the next week and the next week? And what if they forget about it? Hey, you need to have a tool that can remind them for it or put it in their basket already. It can be a powerful tool to understand the customer. Customer specific pricing, of course. Pricing is a big, a big element and you, uh, some customers decide on, on, on pricing and will be motivated to, uh, to buy it quicker. And then we have Fact Finder hosting and Fact Finder services to really create uh, operational excellence in your store, to bind everything together to provide that best customer experience, because that's what it's all about, and then to increase your conversion rate. So we have the best search engine, we have the best merchandising, we do personalization, but then sometimes lightning strikes. And we know we're the best search engine out there. And we know that we have to strengthen certain parts in our products as well. But we want to have the best products for you. We listen to you as customers or what you see in the market trends. We listen to you as well what's important and we adapt it in our product, but we also see certain trends in the market and certain opportunities in technology. And with that, I would love, and I'm really excited about this, to, uh, to make the announcement that we, as of this morning, have acquired the real-time AI personalization engine, Loop54. Loop54 is the market leader in the Nordics on search and personalization, AI personalization. They have a really strong technology and a neural network that can drive personalization. Um, 
we have this, we worked for a couple of months now on this, on this deal. It's not in the press yet, it will go out later, but you're the first ones to know. Um, we made the decision on, on technology, of course, and on, on the market, but the most important thing why we make these decisions is the synergy with the people. And I'm really pleased to welcome, and please welcome with me to the stage, Robin Melsland from the CEO of Loop 54. Thank you, man. It's, uh, it's really exciting. And uh, we've been working together for an, 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 a few, few months now, and with the teams, and I, I cannot say how, how wonderful that has been, and the, uh, the, the, the progress we have made. Um, and now we're together, and uh, so I look forward to working with you and the rest of the team for, for the years to come. So it's, um, but please introduce yourself and introduce Loop 54 and what it can do for the market and for our customers. Thank you, Mil. So as Mil said, I am Robin Melstrand and I am the CEO and one of the founders of Loop 54 based in uh, Stockholm. I'm very honored to be here to meet all of you. Uh, for the first time, and um, I think the union of FactFinder and LoopFit4 will yield extremely strong results for both our customer bases, and I look forward to working with all of you in the future. Really hope we can do that. And do I change slides on this one, maybe? Thank you. Yeah. But about LoopFit4, LoopFit4 is built around one key insight. And that insight is that it's very seldom enough data for computers to understand customers' intentions in real time. That has been very much of an unsolved problem in e-commerce, and that's one of the big reasons why we haven't seen enough machine learning and personalization in this area yet. But for the last 10 years, we at Loopfit4 has been working on... Oh. Is Mike? No. No. Uh, we, we, have been working, uh, we have been working on an AI that can draw conclusions from small amounts of data. And this is extremely important because this is exactly how human beings draw conclusions as well. Take the example of image recognition, for instance, which is probably one of the most um, successful implementations of AI in machine learning today. For a computer to understand that a picture actually depicts a tree, you need to see a million trees before it can actually understand there's a tree. I'm really happy that human beings doesn't work the same way. It's enough for us to see one or two trees to understand that this is also a tree, right? And today, we at Lufit4 is, as uh, Emil said, the market leader in the Nordics, and we serve roughly 130 customers, mainly in the Nordics and the United Kingdom. But to go into a bit of the nerdy stuff, there are many, many possibilities with our technology, and we're going to work over the years to explore a lot of them to get with FactFinder. But we have focused our AI development mainly on real-time, one-to-one personalization. And what that means is that we can understand your customers' intentions in real time, which means showing the right products to the right persons at the right time, which is more or less what's, uh, what like selling is about, right? But it's really hard to do that since everyone has different intentions and are looking for different things. And this is important for everyone to do this, and especially as we trans uh, go into more mobile world where we have smaller screen sizes and we can show fewer products on the same screen. It's extremely important that these are the right products for every individual user out there. And of course, this technology has been shown to increase conversions by quite a lot. And even from the first visit, but even more so from subsequent visits, which in turn increases loyalty. And I suppose we all know what that does for uh, our also important acquisition cost. And our main products today is what it says here on the slide. We have a personalized search and personalized recommendations and personalized navigation, which is basically the product shown when you browse around on the site. And we will be working together with FactFinder to integrate this into the FactFinder core. And to throw some, 
some buzzwords at you. Uh, the, the AM model that we built is a fully online, uh, unsupervised neural network that understands the relationship between users and products. But what does that actually mean? I want to show you a, a screen capture of when, uh, when we integrated this into the uh, Fact Finder demo environment, just to show you what this is about. So this is only a small part of what Solution can do, but it's one that uh, is easy to show in a setting like this. And the problem with search is that it always comes out from human language. And different people would mean different things with the same words. So in this particular example, what is a rope? Oh, Just click, click on it. But it starts immediately when I... Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what is a rope? For one person, it's probably something to tie your boat with. For another person, it's something that, to tow your car with. And for a third person, it's something that uh, you an accessory to your backpack. But what happens here in the demo shop is that we go in and we actually make a search for rope. And we understand that it's this kind of rope that we're after by looking at one customer. And then when that customer or some, someone else comes back, depending how it's set, the result set is vastly different. So it immediately understands the intentions and changes the experience for either one person or for everyone. It's highly configurable and it has a lot of different features and impacts every part of your business. And this is only a very, very small part and just one example of all the things we'll be able to do together. Yes. And I very much look forward to work with each and every one of you and show you, and show you exactly how these kind of technology can impact your business. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Robin. It's really exciting. <clears throat> We've been working uh, just uh, on the product for a couple of days, and the both teams created such a synergy and such an integration already. And uh, yeah, I can't, I can't be more excited about the possibilities that we can offer you as customers in, uh, in search, in merchandising, and AI personalization. We have a great opportunity ahead of us um, uh, for you, for, to offer you the best products uh, to make your business grow and drive that forward and drive that change with you. So, thank you so much. Dank is here. And now we also have to say, Tak se Thank you yeah. so much. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all, Emil. Thank you all, Robin. Yeah.